If you're ready for foundations, clap your hands. If you're ready for foundations, clap your hands. If you're ready to learn your letters, sounds, and words. If you're ready for foundations, clap your hands. Okay, guys, baby Echo and I are here. Let's practice some letter sounds. Re echo after us. J jug j. H hat. G gang g. L lamp. P pan p. R rat r. V van v. Z zebra z. And our digraphs. Remember, two letters stuck together to make one sound. W H whistle wa. C H chin ch. S H ship. Th thumb and C K suck. Very good. Everybody, kiss your brain. Okay, let's use what we know about our letter sounds to make some words. First, we're gonna say first we're gonna do letters, and then we're gonna do some words. Okay, so I'm gonna say the letter and you write down the sound. So if you don't have a piece of paper and a pencil or marker or crayon, go get it now. Ready? Go. Okay, you back? All right, here we go. Uh, Baby Echo and I will say the sound and you write down that letter. Ready? Shh. What letters say? Shh. S-H. Shh. Very good. Okay. Wa. Write what says wa. Ooh, that's a tricky one, baby. Echo. Because there are two things that say wa. Ready? W wind wa and W H whistle wa. Give yourself a thumbs up if you remembered both. And if you don't, write them now. It's okay. Good job. Okay, next sound. The only time you can stick your tongue out at your teacher. Write what says. Ready? T H thumb. Very good. Ch -ch -ch -ch. What says? C-H, C-H, chin, ch, eh, e, ed, eh, very good, and uh, what says uh, baby echo, you up, uh, very good, okay, let's practice some words now, I'll say the word, you listen, think about the sounds you hear, tap it out, and write it. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, repeat after Baby Echo and I. Sock. Okay, write that word. Sock. Oh my gosh. I was writing my word. I got to the end and I heard the k sound. Do you remember what three letters say k or two letters in the digraph? Yes. C, K, and C, K. Can you help me remember how I know which one to use? Okay, I can do this, and I know you can too. Sock, tap it out. S, A, K. Okay, remember, does, do words end with the letter C? No, so it's not gonna be C. Whew. Okay, 
Now I have to decide, is it K or is it CK? How do I remember that? The vowels, remember vowel bat? A, E, I, O, U, vowel bat. If the vowel is short, then we use CK. All right, let's decide when we read sock, is the O short, ready? S ah, yes, O octopus, ah, K. So it's not K, the vowel was short, so it's CK. So now we put the sounds together and we make our word. Sock. Good job, guys. Kiss your brain. All right. Next word. Tuck. 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 I will tuck you into bed. Tuck. Tap it out. T uh. Write those letters. T uh. <gasps> we did it again. We got, we have a word that ends with k. How do we know which one to use? Okay, let's go through our three rules. Does a word end with C? No, so it's not C. Okay, could it, let's see if it's K. Then remember, if the vowel is short, then it's CK. T uh, uh, is it short? Yes, T uh, that's our short sign. Tuck, so it's C K. T U C K. Tuck. Very good. Kiss your brain again. Okay. Shock. Shock. Elbows up. Tap it out. Shock. Write what you hear. Sh all right, let's check each other's. Okay, Ch let's check together. Ready? Shh. Yep, S H. Sh ah. Is it short? Ah. It's short. K uh oh, I made a mistake. Do you know what I did? Yes, the vowel is short, so it shouldn't just be a K, it should be a CK. Then we put our sounds together and we make the word shock. Everybody give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, our last word is a little bit of a challenge. Ready? The word is quack. Like a duck goes quack, quack, quack. Let's tap it out. Quack, 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 quack. What says quack? Q U Qu A Is that a short A? Yes. Qu A K K K And this is short, so I know it's what, guys? C K Qu A K Quack. Let's write our word. Q U A Okay, and remember the Q goes down to the worm. It has a tail. Quack, quack. Good work. All right. So today we are going to read a story. Last week we were learning a lot about insects, and I have two really good books that I want to read about insects with you. Okay. We're going to read the story, and there are going to be some words that I do not know. So what do I do when I come to a word I don't know? I become a word detective. So click on the next video and, and we will read a story together. See you there.